minutes. Okay, let me turn my car off. It's making a bunch of weird noises. All right, so today I'm doing another lips, another nude lips video. Okay, I've got several, so we'll try and uh, just bounce in between. Um, I think I will probably do, I've got some glosses. I've got, let's see, four glosses and three like matte Two are, you know, matte liquid lipsticks, and one of them is just a matte lipstick. So let's try the glossy ones first, so that way my lips won't be too, too dry. All right, so the first one is the um, Wet n' Wild High Shine, what is it? Um, Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. And this one is in the color Send Nudes. So it looks like, man, there's like a thousand stickers on this. And, what have you so all right there we go looks like this color this is considerably deeper than the other one I, that I did this looks like one that I would like so like it's a shade that I would typically go for for a nude so let's see and I'm I'm really looking for some feedback so if you guys are watching this and you're so inclined please give me some feedback and let me know what you guys think because sometimes it's hard for me to judge on my own self I mean, this formula seems a little it's a it seems smooth but sticky in the sense that maybe just thick and it's sticking to you to my lips my lips aren't sticking together but it's sticking to my lips oh yeah this is pretty this is really pretty this is what I would consider almost like not a your lips but better because it's kind of on the brownie side and my lips are a little bit more mauve -y. but this I would consider this like an everyday like goes with everything nude gloss eh, it does make your teeth look a little bit yellow because it's a little bit warm I like that one what do you guys think hopefully the lighting's good and you can actually tell all right so let's go ahead and we'll try the next one I'm gonna stop in between so be right back okay this one is the Marvelous Moxie from Bare Minerals in the shade Rebel. This is, uh, it's pretty thin. It's not offering like too much color, um, but it's kind of like a pinky nude. This one is kind of like my lips, but better. Very glossy, very shiny though, so that's that. This is more like, um, more like, uh, mm, I had something in my mind and now it's gone. We'll have to forget that. Um, okay, let's try the next one. All right, so this is the shade Superpower from Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals. This is more like a golden, shimmery, um, I was going to say sparkly, shimmery uh, nude. That's not really a color. It's almost, it's like, um, it's almost like a lip topper, but for me, it would work as a nude. This one was more of a pinky, pinky nude. And then this one is more of a brownie nude. All right, got one more. What, okay, sorry. I don't know, one more. For the for the shiny glossy ones there are people driving all around here and they're like you're crazy okay and this one is the shade maven by bare minerals marvelous moxie this one is milky like a milky pink color and it's kind of highlighting my crusty lips right there so this one is i don't know i like it but i'm kind of on the fence about it it almost looks too streaky milky but I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. On to the mats. All right, guys. So this one is the shade from Milani. It's a shade adorable in the Amore Matte Lip Cream. Starting to set down. This one is like straight up my lips, but better. A little bit deeper. Just a tiny bit. Um, I have one that's the Amore Satin Matte, I think, in the shade Lux, And it's pretty similar. A little bit darker, though. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Mm, I really like that one. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, so this one is the Milani Matte Naked. Very pretty. I think it's pretty similar, though, to the liquid lipstick, uh, more matte liquid lipstick in the shade Adorable. So if I was going to choose, I probably would choose this one. This one feels more comfortable on my lips, and but it would transfer. I would probably prefer this matte liquid lipstick to the actual lipstick. So, um... One more to try, and then we'll be done. 
Okay, so the last one is the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade... Uh, I think it's Tea Rose. Yeah, there it is, Tea Rose. So you can't really tell because it's frosted glass, but this one is almost exactly the shade of the Lux that I was just talking about, the other Milani liquid. I think that was actually a satin matte. Um, this one is really nice. It doesn't feel very drying. It feels very comfortable, though. So if you like matte liquid lipsticks, this one is really comfortable, and it went on really nice. It was very, like, gel-like, but it was, like, it was so smooth and soft. It was really nice. So I think this was about five, 3 to $5. I can't really remember. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll put them all swatched out on my hand, and then we'll go through them a little bit. I'll try not to take too much time, but uh, we'll get that done. J one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with the swatches. So, all right, let's just, we'll just go top to bottom. This is, the first one is this, uh, the Wet n' Wild, and it's kind of got that brown nude. So, um, that's that. Next one is the shade Rebel. Rebel. It's the Marvelous Moxie and Rebel. Kind of a deeper pink nude. The next one is this golden tone nude. Um, it's not really like a lipstick lipstick. It's a gloss, obviously, but it's more like a topper, I would say. But um, for me, it almost looks like the actual nude that I've been looking for. So, the next one is this milky pink one. It is the shade Maven. Okay, so that's that one. The next one is this. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, is this uh, this lipstick right here? This is the uh, matte naked. From Milani I think these are color statement lipsticks so it's this one matte naked it's actually a little bit lighter than the next one which was the Milani liquid lipstick a little bit darker on that one so um, they're very it's almost like the same tone but this one's just slightly lighter it's got um, it's like a brownie pink um, and the next one is the elf the tea rose and it is decidedly more purpley mauvey than this. It looks really purple next to this one, but it's actually more like blue tone mauve -y. kind of purple, I guess. So that's that one. So at the end of the day, like none of these were really the nude <laughs> that I was really looking for. Again, I'm looking for like almost a lighter nude. I think I just keep gravitating to this dark nude shades that on me aren't nude, really. I mean, they're they're part of the nude family, I would get, I would expect, but like they're not like that typical like, um, almost like concealer lips kind of nude. So um, we'll just keep up the search, y'all. And um, I've had this uh, liquid lipstick, the last one I did the e.l.f. one on for a little while, and it is now starting to feel dry, but I can't really hold it against it because I'm not sure if it's just because I've been wiping stuff off my lips and reapplying, so. Um, I actually really like the color, though, but since I have one at home that's really, really close, I have the, the other Milani one. I probably won't end up keeping this, but I think it's a pretty good one for the price. And let me just see if I have the price of that one. It was five dollars. The um, this lipstick though, this uh, color sensational, I think it's called. The color statement lipstick from Milani was only four ninety seven. So you know, if you like this shade but want a regular lipstick, I might you might take this and kind of compare it to the uh, these lipsticks and see if you can find a shade that's similar. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!